Hello, I'm Frixius, a developer of NSVR, and in this video I would like to showcase the latest update, which is the brand new Radiant UI War Browser. So let me switch uh, to my POV, and also show the private UI so you can actually see. And over here I have the dash, this is the new, new dash. Um, that, was, that has been out for a while, but uh, what's new in the latest build is when you go to the Wars menu. So I click this, you essentially have uh, this new UI for browsing worlds. And important thing, this doesn't show you just uh, the published worlds, but it also combines information from live sessions and the worlds we have currently open. So for example here, I can switch uh, to local, and you see I'm here, and I can switch back to this world. And uh, simple as that. I can, for example, click on this one. You see, there's like a, even extra information. Like you can, if you don't see it, you can click the stop and see all the users in the world, or you can see the description. Um, you also see a bunch of like extra information. So, for example, like uh, this uh, this icon means I'm hosting. This one means it's a headless host. Uh, you can also see if, if the world is for um, if it's private only, or if it's like uh, if it's for, if it's like for anyone, if it's for registered users. So there's a bunch of extra information. And also important thing, if there are multiple sessions of a given world, they are merged into a single item. So if I click this one um, and expand this, you can see there, there are these tabs and I can actually click them to toggle between the active sessions. And I can join any, of, uh, any one of them. If I, want, if I want to have a little bit more control, I can actually click this and it will expand the information. And here I have uh, all the information about the world. I have like some actions, uh, the admin actions you won't see, but you will see things like the get session or or get session URL. And I can toggle again between the different versions. And I can even start my own session. And then I even have like extra data. And because I actually own this world, uh, I can even do things like edit, edit the metadata. I can start a custom session. So there's a bunch of, uh, bunch of options all integrated into the system. And there's a few more to come as well. Uh, so this should make browsing and finding worlds much easier. And also like look sleeker than the whole UI. Uh, the uh, paging has been improved. So for example, I can like page like this and you can see it's pretty responsive. And this actually combines uh, information of all published worlds with active sessions. So I can go all the way to the very first published world in EOS, which has been published 909 days ago. Uh, but on the left, uh, over here, there are a bunch of like preset categories. So I can click Featured, and this will actually show, and I'm page too much, this will actually show um, all the words that are featured. But again, it's uh, combining all the information available. So for example, this is one of the recent uh, featured words, and there's an active session. So it, the, uh, the UI will automatically pick up that information and will offer me to join the session. And that way, like if you're a new user, like you don't have to really worry about uh, too much. You just uh, you find a cool world, you click it. It also like will try to like uh, when using everything, it will try to like put live sessions to the top. Uh, but if you really want to, like you can actually go click new session and start uh, start a session, or you can go start a custom session if you want to have a little bit more control. Um, so there's a bunch of other preset categories. You can show only active sessions, only friend sessions. You can uh, show social worlds, games, art, tutorials. Uh, there might be, we, we might need to like categorize some more of them because there's not too many. Or educational worlds. And there's also the my worlds category, which essentially shows all the worlds that uh, you have uploaded into your cloud or that any of the groups you are in. Um, if I go back to everything, you can also search. And this has been greatly improved as well. So, for, so I can, for example, go creator. And this finds all the creator gem. I can add extra term, and this is something that wouldn't worry before because it would look specifically for a creator gem and um, it wouldn't find it. But if I, for example, look, uh, there's uh, this one also says stream. I can put, put this as a search term and it will still show up, but it will also show worlds that don't have that term necessarily. So um, essentially, it means like any of these terms are optional. If I really want to want one term to be included, I can add a plus symbol, and it will essentially force the term to be. Well, uh, it must be found in the search. If I want to exclude it, I can put a minus in there. So if I put minus, you see it disappears, but it still shows all the others. 
And if I wanted to uh, search for a specific combination of terms with a space, I can just put them in quotes. So I can go like this. Jump stream. And I will force it to be found. There we go. And it doesn't exist. And I can also click this to quickly clear your search. If you want to really customize your search, there's also like, by the way, gonna be like improvements on this one as well. Uh, right now, like the search is still relatively rudimentary. Eventually we'll integrate like a full text search service, which is gonna provide a lot more like uh, things like partial matching and fuzzy search. But if you want to have a bit more control, you can also go to custom. And this essentially has all the filtering and searching properties. So you can, for example, change the data sources. So I can, for example, only show words that I actually have open. Uh, you can change like uh, who the words are by. So for example, I can go by Fluxius. Just me. Fluxius. There we go. So now it shows all my worlds. Uh, you can filter by which group they are submitted to. You can force them like to be featured. And if I change this back, you can also filter, for example, by how many users there are. So I'm actually go, yeah, everything by minimum users. So this will show only worlds that have at least five people. And I can increase it, let's say 10 or nine, and it will filter it appropriately. You can even filter it by how many friends there are in that uh, particular world. By the way, the friends, they're actually highlighted uh, uh, teal. So you can easily tell, and also the ones that are kind of transparent are world, like are people who are in a different world, who are like away, who are essentially shelled out. And you can also like have other uh, other properties. So for example, I can I can filter by minimum of time. So let's say like ten minutes. And you can pretty much type whatever time you want there. It will parse it. So these are all of ours that have been up for at least ten minutes. Let's try let's try one hour, but I don't think there's gonna be any. One hour. Actually, this one, I think this is my previous build. Or is it a new one? I'm not quite sure. Actually, I think it, it has been an hour. Well, let's give, give it a check. Oh, it's uh, not quite an hour. Mm, there might still be, might, might be some bugs. Uh, so anyway, uh, what was the last thing? Yes. So the last thing that's like really cool about like this new UI is that this is all uh, built like very in, in a very modular manner. So like what I can do is I enable my UI editing, and you see these these pieces they're all facets. So I can actually take this out. I could like resize it, reposition it, you know, put it somewhere else. You can for example do it like with a search. That's no, too small. Well, there's not too much space for this one. Or I can like shorten this one if I don't like it that big. So all of this UI is completely modular. And what's cool about this is that uh, you can uh, you can um, actually replace the different pieces with your own uh, customized versions. So you can even like, build your own versions. All of these pieces, they are dynamically linked to each other simply by placing them into the into the, um, into the same like this screen. So for example, if I search pool, and then I take this out. Now, because it's not part of this uh, UI, I can actually ch change the term and for example, uh, go like, I don't know, hotel. You see, it doesn't affect the UI, but the moment like I place it, it will pick up the existing information and it changes back to pool. That's because like when when I place it, it will automatically link up, and this gives you like the ability to um, to completely customize the UI, build your own like UI pieces, and to just do whatever you want with it. And that's pretty much goal of the overall like uh, UI redesign is to make it much simpler for newcomers, but make it. Uh, also a little more powerful for our existing users and to let you build and customize and expand the UI in ways that we haven't even imagined. So I think this should be pretty much, um, this should cover like uh, all the basics of this. So I hope like you um, 
you like this new UI. There's there's like a few tweaks, like um, that still like need to be done, but uh, those should be relatively minor. So I hope that this will help a lot. Let me just switch the camera. I hope that this will help a lot, uh, both like the existing users and also new users to make it much easier to discover sessions, make it much easier to find people and uh, socialize and uh, enjoy Neos. And the last thing I would like to say, like thank you to everyone like who supports the development and who supports our team, both like on Patreon, on Twitch, on our ICO, and even like by just building awesome content and be part of the community. Because without you, like we wouldn't be able like to work on this and keep improving Neos uh, over time. So thank you very much, and let me know like if you have any, if you have any questions, if you have any like, suggestions or feedback, you, you can reach out, reach out on Discord. You can reach out like uh, in the comments. Um, there's like links in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll see you with the next update. Okay, bye bye. Papa.